It has been a long time, my friends, but finally, I have a brand new best class setup video for Advanced Warfare. I decided that the M1 Irons, one of the brand new pistols, primary weapons available within Advanced Warfare, was definitely deserving of its own best class setup video because it is a monstrous weapon, but it's so much fun at the same time. Despite the fact that it is a pistol, it's definitely deserving of its slot as a primary weapon because it is really, really good. I feel at pretty much all ranges as long as you're accurate and you know how to use the gun. So I'm going to be covering it today since a load of you guys asked for best class setup video since I've been using it in a few videos recently. So let's jump straight into it by having a look at the perks. The perks are fairly standard. We've got lightweight in the perk one slot so you're really agile. Peripherals in the perk 2 slot so your minimap is as big as possible means you can locate the enemies and I'm pretty much staring at the minimap half the time I'm playing the game so making it as big as possible is always really useful and for perk 3 I've gone for hardline and blast suppressor I was running around with scavenger but I just found I had loads of ammo spare and honestly this class just does not need scavenger and uh, hardline is going to allow you to get to the kill streaks as quickly as possible and kill streaks uh, is one of the fun things that links in with this class as well so we have gone for some fairly big kill streaks. You don't have to get them all the time, but that's not the point. The point is, every now and then you will get them, and it's going to feel absolutely awesome knowing that you've wrecked a team with just a pistol as your primary weapon. So we've gone for UAV, just a standard UAV, the uh, Aerial Assault Drone, which I've customised with two additional um, add-ons, basically, which makes it 800 points. I've gone for the Rockets and also the AR HUD. The AR HUD just makes it easier to locate enemies when you're controlling it, and the Rockets are just super, super powerful and basically one-hit players. You've seen me use them in live videos recently as well. And then next up is the Warbird. I've just thrown on an Aggressor, but feel free to throw on Defender if you want. It's only plus 50 points, which makes it 900. I like to round the points up to uh, a flat number, so be it 700. 800, 900. That's just my preference. And then finally, the big old Paladin. But it's not the normal Paladin. I've thrown on sleight of hand and extra time. So otherwise, it's just not in the air for long enough, man. And that's going to be 1,300 points. These score streaks work well with each other and are all very, very powerful. And as I said, you may not always get them, but it's not really the point, is it? It's when you do get them, you just feel absolutely awesome. So with the actual gun itself, what have I gone for? So it's an interesting one. I've only got two attachments. I've gone for advanced rifling which is going to increase the range. And also the para parabolic microphone. This is going to allow you to pick up when someone's using a silencer, which I find to be really, really useful. And also means that uh, it actually changed the iron sights a little bit. So if you look at me when I'm actually aiming down sights with a gun, it's got like a flat rail to it. And that's what happens when you use a parabolic microphone. And I actually really like it personally. Maybe you don't. If you don't, feel free to switch it out for a different attachment, maybe quick draw. But I really like it. I feel it only needs two attachments. And the reason I really like this gun, as I said, is it works amazing at both close range and long range. Close range, just hit fire, spam those six bullets, make sure your uh, hip fire reticle is actually on the enemy, and you're going to drop them extremely quickly, almost like a shotgun. And then at longer range, basically just aim down sight, try and not move too much, try and keep on target. And you can pick people off at really, really long distances. This gun has almost no recoil, and that's why it's so amazing at those longer ranges. And that's why, personally, I don't use uh, a Kimbo. A Kimbo is a very popular choice for this weapon, and trust me, it does work well close range. But it pretty much means you're ruling out all long range kills, which you just don't want to do. This gun's great at long range, man. And you, as you see in the gameplay, I try and use it at all ranges and really take advantage of what this weapon is capable of. So hopefully you guys can apply this class. You can see it on screen here, the full class setup yourself and really go to town and maybe one day you'll get those all four of those streaks up in the air and you'll feel awesome knowing that you've done it with this gun and trust me as I say it's just fun man it's extremely extremely fun so let me know what you guys think of this class let me know what kind of scores you get with it when you jump online and give it a go or maybe you've got some slight variations that you prefer with this weapon again let me know down below in the comment section so there we go guys an extremely fun best class setup video for advanced warfare make sure you're giving it a go and rocking it because it is amazing hopefully you guys have enjoyed tomorrow the legendary gear comes out as I said so make sure you're checking back here tomorrow to see if I can pick up any of those crazy items and I'll see you guys then with another Advanced Warfare video.